Ah, it's good to see you again. How have you been doing? I have renounced the old gods. Really? What made you do that? I had a vision. The sleeper talked to me. What did he say? He said, go to the camp in the swamp and join the Brotherhood. You're a very rich man, stranger. The sleeper doesn't reward many people like that. The sleeper has chosen you. Do you really want to join us? Yes, I wish to follow the sleeper. Go to Kor Kalom. Tell him I sent you because you are a true supporter of the faith. You don't look like one who submitted to slavery under the ore barons. You look more like a seeker, someone who's searching for the true faith. Do you not feel a fire inside your body which keeps you from sleeping at night? I see. You doubt that what the ore baron slaves try to tell you is really true and just. You know why you doubt them too? They're lying. With those lies, they try to control weak spirits. But your spirit is stronger than their lies. Don't you feel a longing for freedom every single day? Don't you feel it growing stronger? It guides your spirit. Let it happen! Do you know what you're doing when you try to suppress it? You're denying your soul, denying yourself. Don't let your fears dominate your life. Free yourself. You need to understand. The sleeper will awaken. He will set you free and wash away all these disbelieving infidels. Like dross that is washed away by the rain, they will vanish from this world. They will moan, whine, and repent, but it will be too late. Then they will pay the price. They will pay with their blood and with their lives. Hey, you've spoken to me. Does that mean I may talk to you now? I see you've become familiar with our rules. That's good. I can feel your great spiritual strength. Soon you'll be allowed to join our community. I have spoken to you because I wanted to give you a chance to prove your loyalty. How can I prove my loyalty? Most of all, we need new souls to join our community. By recruiting one more man to our camp, you will prove that you're willing to do good service to our community. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. Maybe. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. I doubt that's ever likely. Keep it to yourself. People don't need to know. Hey man, new here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Why not come along? 
great. We can talk while we're going. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. He's never going to show his face around here again. I'd have felt happier if you'd killed him. There was a time when things be something about that story after Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. I'm ready to go with you. Let's get the amulet. Okay, let's do it then. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? So, here we are. Far away from your friend Diego. I'm to send you regards from Bloodvin. Looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? So, you idiot, just wanted to trap me. Hey, man, we're sitting in the same boat. I am not into digging in the mines either, so I'll do what the guards tell me. Then I'll be accepted soon. That I should whack you, of all people, is your own fault, really. Why did you have to start a bloody fight with the guards? Personally, I don't dislike you, so why do you think? Peace or further fighting? Peace sounds good. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. Let's forget about it. From now on, I'm on your side. If you ever have trouble again, you can count on me. I owe you some after all. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well. First of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean, I don't know where you want to go. Don't panic. You've won. He's had enough. Don't panic. You've won. He's had enough. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. You'll be sorry for that. Oh. I have. This is real fun. Thanks for taking me with you. We could do that more often. There's loads of more time left today. I've gotten used to you already. We'll have much fun together. I'm sure of that, aren't you? Where do you sleep, anyway? You can come to my place, no problem. As long as I'm not... I doubt that's ever likely to change. Why do they put you in here, anyway? Do you like animals as well? They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Give me the digger's trousers. A good choice. As long as there are some people who constantly try to beat me up. Horrible guys from the new camp. Real cutthroats. The next time I'll tell them that they'll have you to deal with in the future. Then they'll be dead scared. People always talk. 
Those bastards from the new camp will be amazed when they get to know that I have a protector. They'll piss themselves. That'll be fun. <laughs> Normally they'll finish people off quickly, but now they'll think twice. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. I was in the sect camp and met Melvin. And what did he say? Apparently, he likes it more than getting harassed by the guards. Hey, man, he has all the fun for himself. I have to go there, but I'll never make it out of the camp. Really? Why not? The guards have found out that I want to leave. I guess I talk too much. I need at least 100 ore to bribe the guards. You know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll put in a good word for you, then perhaps you'll be admitted to the camp. Then we can meet every day. What if I gave you the 100 ore for the guards? You'd do that? Why? Well, let's say you aren't the only one who'd prefer you to hang around in the sect camp. You mean you want to come with me? I will go with you to the sect camp. Great, man. I'm ready. We can start as soon as you want. But don't forget, we need 100 ore for the guards. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Let's take the south gate. The north gate is of no use. It's impossible to bribe the guards there. And perhaps you should see to the ore? I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Okay, let's move. Stop! Where you think you're going with our friend? We're just going for a stroll. Here's 100 ore. Why well, never saw anything? Here's somebody who would like to make your acquaintance, Master. Who have you brought me? Is he worthy? He will certainly require your spiritual guidance, Master. Very well. From now on, he shall be one of my disciples. You will come to my hut every day to listen to my words. Your soul can still be saved. Master, I would like to join the Brotherhood. I need you to speak in my favor. You have proven your worth. Go to Korakalam and don the robe. Hi, how's it going? I'm dead on my feet, man. I've been working for two days without a single break. Harlock should have taken over ages ago. It's always the same with that guy. He's probably lying in his hut, fast asleep. Why don't you just go there and give him a right kick in the butt? Can't leave here while Baloran is in charge. The work has to be done either way. But you could go there for me. He's staying right under Cor Column's alchemy lab at Fortuno's. Tell him to get his butt over here. Oh. 
Gorim sent me. What? I'm here to remind you that you're to take over from him. That's very nice of you. Remind me again when I'm through sleeping, yeah? Get your ass to the weed mashers or you'll be for it. Just try to mess with me again, sucker. Put the weapon! We're winner, I'd say! What? You'll be sorry for that! Looking for trouble again? Well, do you feel like giving your pal a break now? You damn pain in the butt. Why do you have to meddle in my affairs? I just want to see you mashing. Okay, okay, I'm on my way, sucker. Get out of the way. <laughs> I have spoken to Gorim. You have done one of our brothers a great service. Your cause was just. That's why I've chosen you for a special task. Kor Kalom urgently needs new swamp weed for his experiments. Our gatherers are working day and night. Go to them and take their entire harvest to Kalom's alchemy lab. <laughs> Who are you? I'm the guru, the guru of the swamp. My servants call me Bonnet Beck. Servants? I don't see any servants. They're everywhere. The trees, they walk and skip and dance. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be on my way then. Wait, you can help me convert this swamp into a massive meadow of flowers. Okay, you just got started. Me? I'll be back later. He's not going to get me anywhere. Talaran sent me. I'm to collect all the swamp weed. Good. Then I don't need to go myself. Here, take it. But don't forget to go to Viren on the other side of the swamp if you haven't been there yet. Otherwise, your lobe might be a bit small and people might think you'd sold the other half of it. <laughs> Who could I sell the weeds to anyway? Uh-oh. Now I've been putting ideas in your head, haven't I? No, tell me. Who? You have something in mind? I'm telling you, if the stuff doesn't arrive at Core Colognes, we'll both be in real trouble. If you know somebody, we could go halves. Well, I'd know somebody in the new camp. He'd be interested in weed. But if the gurus catch you at it, they'll feed you to the swamp sharks. I don't know anything, okay? Okay, who's the buyer in the new camp? You think I'll give you the name and you can just make a run with the weed? <laughs> it doesn't work quite like that. I want to see 50 or as an advance payment. Then we'll see. 50's fair, here you go. Good, listen. His name is Cypher. You'll probably find him in the bar on the lake. Be careful and don't let anybody fool you. Just keep picking hard. Of course. What do you think I'm doing? Rocking my balls? Balaron sent me. I'm to take the whole harvest to Kalom. You think it's that easy, do you? Anybody could turn up like that. Balaron sent me and whoosh. The whole lot of the weeds were gone. Go see him and ask if you don't believe me. I have a better idea. You prove your loyalty by doing a little job for us. And what do you want me to do? It's really nothing. Work in the swamp. It's a bit risky. And then there's those damn blood flies. Work would be much easier without them. Do you follow? I don't see any more blood flies anywhere. But there are some more blood flies within 20 paces. You won't get off that easily. I don't see any more blood flies anywhere. No more blood flies to be seen. 
That was a good job you did. Someone who works like that is either on our side or a complete idiot. An idiot would be too stupid to fool me, right? Here, take the harvest and take it to Cora Cologne. If he complains and says it's not enough, tell him to move his butt here himself. Then give him an idea how much hard work it is. Thank <laughs> you.